Well, smack them a gob, everybody. Yes, it's not the only news that matters. Well, it, it is the only news that matter, but it's only one news story. And it's what the internet is buzzing about. And I think I'd throw my couple cents in here since every story I've seen hasn't mentioned a couple things that I'm going to mention. As you see, John 5 has replaced Mick Mars in Motley Crue. And um, as I have said this before, and a lot of people have said this, is that, you know, Motley Crue went back on their farewell contract saying that, you know, the, this is the end of the tour and, you know, Nikki Six same stuff. Bands that do farewell tours and come back is an insult to the fans. And we would never want to insult our fans. Now he loves insulting his fans. But another thing in that contract was that Molly Crew can never play on stage again unless it's the four original members. So, basically, uh, another breach of contract. Another, another. To me, it seems like the more this tour goes on, they're going to find more things in that contract that they can break, you know, and breach. Um... But, you know, here's the deal. Everybody out there, I mean, majority rules when it comes to shows. You know, people like me, hardcores like me, we don't really matter. We don't fill seats. And a lot of people that have my mentality don't know this. They think that just because uh, you think it's lame and you don't want to go, it's going to fail. No, it's not going to fail. It's going to do great. Uh, basically, this whole stadium tour did amazing. You know, millions and millions of dollars and because it's people that really don't care. You know, people that, oh, so what if they lied about the contract? I'm cool with it. Okay, I'm not that way, but I'm also the minority. So um, they're going to go to Europe now with John 5. And by the way, I did see John 5 one time. I went to Vegas with my parents and they ended up getting free tickets to see Rob Zombie and Godsmack. And of course, they're not going to go. You know, they're elderly. So I went. I was like, well, you know, I like some white zombie stuff. And, you know, I don't like Godsmack. And I did sit through that. That was God awful. But when Rob Zombie came out, which really wasn't that great either, except for the unaccompanied guitar solo John 5 did. Wow. That guy is amazing. What a player. So him joining Motley Crue is like, this is going to be a no-brainer for him. Yes, many people love Mick Mars, and I, you know, I love, I think Mick Mars' best playing is on Too Fast for Love. What he does on there is phenomenal, but I love his Shout at the Devil stuff, but then after that, he started with the bluesy slide stuff, and I couldn't get into it, though I did like a few songs uh, off pretty much every album they did, except for um, Saints of Los Angeles. I didn't like one song off that, but I even like songs off Generation Swine and New Tattoo. And I liked Wild Side. I liked the song, Girl, uh, Dr. Feelgood. I didn't like the rest of that album. And Theater Pain, which Theater Pain was probably well, pretty much tied for the best time I ever saw Motley Crue because I saw Shout at the Devil Tour opening for Ozzy, and that was awesome. But Theater Pain was really a really good show. I know that album was kind of spotty, but the show was awesome, and, and I think it was the best drum solo i ever seen Tommy do. Yeah, I saw the Girls, Girls, Girls was a spinning thing, which was okay, and flying over people's head on Dr. Feelgood, that was okay, but I thought the Theater Pain one was awesome, and the Shout at the Devil drum solo, where the drums didn't do anything. Uh, Tommy Lee's an amazing dr uh, drummer, but, you know, I saw the last the Farewell Tour, where he did the roller coaster thing. And I thought, I mean, visually it was awesome. But he was up there playing techno stuff. It didn't really show off the chops of what I think is an amazing drummer. But that's where I stopped. Because, you know, that show, number one, Alice Cooper blew him away. But the stage show was the greatest stage show I ever saw. I think it blew away the Kiss shows. Now, i never seen Rammstein, but I understand that one. It's pretty spectacular. Uh, but... I thought it blew away Kiss shows, you know, with the flaming pentagram behind them. And it was just amazing. I was like halfway back on the side and I felt the heat from the stage from, from all those flames. So 
But that's where I end it. I don't want to go see Motley Crue anymore. I didn't even think they were that good that night. It was a stage show. That was amazing. But I do understand that people love it and people want to go see it. So knock yourselves out. You know, I think uh, I'm all for people that want to see this. You know, I mean, you guys don't have the mentality that I do. And, and basically, you just don't care. You don't care if people lie to you and stuff like that. I'm just anal. But uh, whatever. I'm not going to see Motley Crue, even with John 5. Unless it comes with a really cool band I want to see. And hopefully that cool band will be headlining over it. But um, that's what I wanted to say. A lot of people are not talking about, hey, in that contract, it said it has to be all four members too. Now They, rent, they went back on the farewell thing. Now they're going back on it has to be the four members. And I will say for Mick Mars, he's a pimp because that guy's going to be making more money than John 5 sitting at home. You know, he's still part of the band. He's still going to get that income. Uh, but hopefully John 5 will be making more than he did in Rob Zombie and Marilyn Manson. I'm sure he'll do. I mean, of course he'll do more than when he was in 2. And uh, everybody out there, I'm sure you'll enjoy it, you know. But, I mean, all my friends, I had like six or seven friends that saw the Miami show. They all told me the same thing, that they were horrible. And that Def Leppard wasn't that great either. But Poison, who none of my friends liked, said that they were the best. They were the best band that night, and now they're touring Europe without Poison, which I think is a smart move because you know after all, it's like man, Poison made us look bad all around the states. Let's not make them make them uh, make us look bad all over the world. So uh, hey, everybody, thank you, thank you so much for watching. If you like to donate, I got a PayPal in the description below, and please subscribe to my channel. If you have not, so stay frosty, listen to Black Sabbath, and smack them a gobba.